What is up you guys, it's RJ. We have a brand new group to me uh, that has actually been on my list of groups to check out for a very, very, very long time. I don't know why it's taking me so long to get to them, but we're here now. I believe the name of the group is pronounced We I, I think. If that's not the case, please let me know. Uh, but we're gonna be checking out five of their music videos. I think their debut is Twilight. We're gonna be checking out Bye Bye Bye, Too Bad, spray and their latest comeback overdrive typically i only do four but it would have been crazy to just like not include the fifth one because that's the other only one um major mvs i mean um but before we get into the music i am going to check out their uh k-pop profiles just to kind of get to know them a little bit see what they look like um but yeah let's go okay so we i is a south korean boy group under oui entertainment uh, i don't think i've ever heard of that company before uh the group consists of Six members, we have Daehyun, Donghan, Youngha, Yoan, Sokwa, and Junseo. I think I said all those right, maybe not. Uh, they officially debuted on October 5th, 2020 uh, with their mini album Identity First Sight. So they're coming up on their three year anniversary in a couple months. The fandom name, is it Rulai? I don't know, you guys let me know. I think I feel like I'm saying this incorrectly. All right, first up we have Daehyun. This is a very far away photo, so I'm not gonna be able to like recognize him. Not that I would immediately anyway, but this doesn't help. <laughs> he's a leader, main rapper, vocalist. February 11, 1997, he's an Aquarius. Same, sir. He's a former member of Reigns. Okay, so I, that must have been another group that I'm assuming disbanded or something, or he left the group and the group is still continuing. I'm not sure. He was a contestant on Produce 101 season two. I've never seen that show before, but I've heard a lot about it. So maybe that's where like a lot of these groups got their members, I'm assuming. Similar to like a boys planet or something like that. All right, next up we have Dong Han. Dong Han, lead vocalist, main dancer, July 3rd, 1998. 5'11", okay. He's a former member of the boy group JBJ. Did not hear of them. He debuted on a, as a soloist. Oh, so that's interesting. I guess he must have been a part of that group and then debuted as a soloist and then joined We I and, or maybe he went to produce and then joined We I. I don't know, that's an interesting like, Wow, interesting career. I also expected the members to be a lot younger than they actually are. Not that they're old or anything, but like the 90s, I wasn't expecting that year. Youngha. Youngha is the lead rapper, so vocalist January 11, 1999. He's a former member of One the Nine, so that's interesting. I actually do know that group. It's wild that they've all come from, well, so far from like other groups that either disbanded or are like they just left. I don't know the circumstances of them being former members, but I'm gonna assume that the group has like disbanded or something. Yoan, he looks familiar to me. I don't know why, but maybe he just looks like someone else. Center, lead rapper, sub-vocalist, September 22nd, 1999. Oh, maybe that's why he's a former member of the group X1. It's also interesting to see how many other groups that the members of X1 ended up in, because a lot of them are groups that I listen to. So it's interesting to come across this one now, and this is another group where another member of X1 ended up. Sokwa is the main vocalist, December 1st, 2000. So he seems to be the only one so far that did not come from a former K-pop group. But he was on both Produce 101 and Treasure Box, so wow. And then lastly, Jun Seo, who is our lead dancer, sub-vocalist, and Makne, uh, November 20th, 2001. So that would make our youngest member turning 22 this year. Or I guess if they're still doing Korean age, then he's already 22. So the Makne is 22, wow. So that's a very, that's see, that I didn't expect the, the, the youngest member to be in the 20s. I expected it to be, I don't know, 18. I don't know, I just, I don't know why I did, but I guess I just assumed. And he's also from the, the group One the Nine. Very interesting. So they're all basically from former groups except Sokwa. Sokwa, am I saying that name right? Okay, well, I mean, I'm excited to see uh, what kind of music this is gonna be now that I know, like, I guess kind of what age range they're around. Also, it's interesting that they come from other groups because that means they've got like a bit more experience being in the scene, you know? So I just wonder, will that translate into this group and like what kind of music is being made and whatnot? So yeah, should be exciting. We're gonna start with Twilight, which is their debut. So let's go. All right, I already like this song. Already like this song. Yeah, I feel like, feel like, feel like, 
Oh, this is so... I love the way this looks. <laughs> I love that one. Wow, these scenes. Whoa, that was sick. Oh, I like him. Ooh. Who's that one? I like him too. I like all of them. <laughs> hey, the choreography! I like this bridge, this acoustic. Wow. wow. Wow, 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 wow. You guys, listen, you know when you hear a song and you instantly know that you're going to like it? That's exactly what this song was. Like, from the instrumental alone, I knew I was gonna like this song. It was instantly my vibe. I liked everything about this. This whole scene at night with like the black outfits and this like uh, lit up, what is this thing in the background? I don't even know what that is, like a garage or something. Were they still on the rooftop? See, the way the set changed, I couldn't even figure out where they were. I didn't realize this was the same set in the daytime, but at nighttime, because I think with the, the background being like, almost like the galaxy or, the words are escaping me right now. Um, space, I because it's so vivid, I guess I didn't even connect that it was the same place. It looks so different. And I think their outfits also just kind of help. Um, the choreography was very nice. I actually really want to see it like a dance practice for this song. I liked everyone's vocals on this song. I really enjoyed the guy, the rapper, um, that came in in the second, court, second verse. Uh, I really liked the bridge, the way they switched up and it was like just acoustic, guitar, um, that was definitely different. I wasn't expecting something like that, but that was a nice change up. As I said, when this video began, um, watching this, you, I, I don't know if it's just because I am thinking in this way, but I, watching this, I get the sense that they have more, like, experience doing this. I don't know, there's just something about the way that they were doing it, the way they were carrying themselves, it was a, there was a bit of a confidence about it. Um, and it carried through through the music video, in my opinion. And I I think this was like a fantastic debut. I loved, loved it. Okay, next up we have their first comeback, I'm assuming is Bye Bye Bye. So let's go. Wow, they're so pretty though. Oh, there's no captions, by the way. Like his hair. Oh, 
I'm like, wow, wow, that was cool. Um, I really liked the um, the production of this. I like also how this song and Twilight were almost very different from each other uh, sound wise. That choreo looked so good. Uh, that second verse when it comes in the chorus and that little like caress of the chin and the way they all just split like that was so sick. Um, and just, I don't know. There was something very like seductive about the way they were moving. It was very like pleasing to look at. Even the music video, I liked how almost kind of simplistic the like uh, sets were. Uh, simplistic in the way that there weren't like so many of them. They kind of used the same uh, place, but day and night, and then different areas of the same place. So it almost felt a lot bigger uh, than it actually was. Kudos to them. This is another great track. Okay, next up we have Too Bad. Let's go. <laughs> Everybody stopped in their tracks. <laughs> Pause. Uh, why is the quality like three three twenty? They tried it. Okay, let's restart. <laughs> Oh, you don't know my feeling. I know the time and we'll take. Talk to Gaji all out. 
Very colorful. That one was a good time. What I will say is I'm, I'm liking that that each song so far has been very different from the last. It's really cool to see um, their versatility. And with a song like this, this one is a lot more playful uh, than the last two. This is also not necessarily a song that I would typically be into, uh, but there are a lot of parts of the song that I actually really enjoyed. And I think the more I listen to the song, the more I'll actually enjoy it as much as I do the other two. But I still had a lot of fun with it. I love the too bad in the chorus. It's very catchy. Uh, I love the rap breakdown for the bridge. That was actually a nice little switch up too. This one was just a really good time. So I had a lot of fun with it. Okay, so I decided to switch uh, this uh, for one the K version of Spray. Cause one the K has the captions. I'm not sure why the other MV did not. Uh, and the previous one did not, and the previous one before that did not. So uh, for the sake of the captions, even though I don't typically always be read them because I'm trying to pay attention to the song as well as the music video, uh, I feel like they're just nice to have. I might be able to glance at them here and there, but it's nice to at least see what the song is also about. Also with the title called Spray, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> um, anyway, let's go. I didn't see that. Yeah, yeah, putting my 
<laughs> oh, I like the sound of this. I love that choreography. Honestly, it made me think of um, NCT Doji Do Jung, the perfume where they were like, you know, that whole thing. I think that's really cool to incorporate something like that in your song, if especially when um, your title is something like that, almost like an action, uh, like spraying is an action. So like to have like that spray part in the choreo was very clever. I like the way they weave that in there. Very much enjoyed the vibe of this song. Again, this song sounds nothing like the previous ones, the previous title tracks rather. Um, so it's cool that they were able to do this type of vibe. This song has a very kind of like, um, kind of confident, badass feel to it in a way with the production. So it's cool to see them tackle this type of concept. I love the verses. Um, I love the rapper, uh, the vocalist, Wow, the vocalist, um, especially in that run at the end of the song, actually just throughout the entire ending of the song. That was kind of crazy. I couldn't figure out if that was one of the members or if that was a part of the like production, um, like a sound that sounded like a vocalist, but it wasn't. I wasn't sure because that was incredible. The lyrics were also very fun to read. <laughs> uh, initially, I wasn't sure what I was reading, but in the context of the song and the title, it all makes a lot of sense. Uh, so that was... That was the reason for the 1DK. That's why I had to go here, because I was like, with a title like Spray, I don't know what this song's gonna be about, but I got it. Okay, you guys, we have our last song, which is their most recent title track, uh, Come Back, Overdrive. Uh, 1DK does have a version, but it has no subtitles either, so we will just be sticking to the MV and the song. Um, so yeah, let's go. Oh, that's a cold dice or die. I like that we're actually outside now. I don't think any of the other MVs were like that. Except Twilight. Don't be 
Is this the guy that was from One the Nine? Oh, his voice is so pretty. So is he. <laughs> Six mini album. Six? Wait, six? So that means I'm missing one. I guess. Another really awesome song like that one had a bit more of a rock vibe to it um, not full-on but like it was there enough to be different from the rest of them and again like it's just cool to go through all these songs and none of them sound alike they're they're the kind of group it seems to uh, kind of tackle a lot of different sounds and make it their own I very much enjoyed it I like to listen to all these songs I think I think the debut is probably still my favorite one um, yeah, I think that was probably my favorite one out of all of them, but I enjoyed all of them. Uh, very much inter interested in checking out um, like their mini albums and stuff like that. Like I didn't know they had that many, like six. So I guess I'm missing a music video then, because typically you would have like a title track with a, mi with a mini album. So I guess I miscalculated. I thought that maybe there was only five songs, five title tracks rather. But yeah, this was very exciting. I'm very excited to have finally gotten to them as well. Um, and I'm excited to listen to these songs again. So yeah, until next time. Thanks so much for hanging out with me here, you guys. If you liked the video, leave a like and a comment and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if that's your thing and I'll catch you guys on the next video later.